A sight you'll see around almost every corner in the old city of Jerusalem, heavily armed police. These are the first responders to any terrorist attack in the holy city. Perhaps most astounding is that it's women that make up some 30% of this almost 9,000 strong troop. And today we're going to meet one such officer who's around the same size as me but with one big difference. She's expertly trained at an elite level and she's going to give us some insight into the daily duties of a Jerusalem border police guard. This is Shoshana. At 19 years old, she left her home in Florida to enlist in the Israeli military. Brandishing an M16 rifle and kitted out with heavy body armor, Shoshana's duties are the same as her male counterparts. You see a lot of times in jobs, there's a difference with, with men and women. Mm -hmm. But here, you, I feel it's equal. Like, I really do feel it's an equal. And it's, it's interesting to be treated the same and have the same responsibilities and the same jobs. And it's really cool, honestly. <laughs> wow. It's a job fraught with danger, guarding three of the world's holiest sites in an area so sensitive amidst a tense political backdrop. The Jerusalem district is inundated with terror attacks. But you're not only there to thwart potential terror attacks, but sometimes you're often the target. How does that make you feel? It can definitely be scary sometimes, mm -hmm. but um, I do have confidence in myself and like what I've been through with training and everything. So I do believe that I can take of any situation if I'm in it. We make our way through East Jerusalem, an area at the centre of political discourse, as Palestinian leadership seek this as the capital of a future Palestinian state. It's here Shoshana tells me why she left her home in America to become a police officer in Israel. I love this country, you know, when you love something, you don't just say you love it, but you have to do something for it as well. When I heard about Magav border police, I found it very interesting to work. We're not on the borders and waiting for war to happen, but we're really inside and we're really doing things every day. We enter a neighborhood called Atur, where border police patrol daily, looking for potential suspects attempting to make their way to the old city, or as Shoshana explains, to disperse riots. If you get hit with a block, I guess you just keep running and you, you try to catch the person also. Every situation is different, you know? Rocks, you, you just keep running. Molotov, cocktails, you keep running, you try to catch the person who did it, because clearly, um, it's not something that's allowed to happen, so that would usually cause for an arrest. But today we're being taken to a lookout, sitting atop a police station, which gives them a bird's eye view of the entire 125 square mile spread of the ancient city and its surrounds. So this is quite the vantage point. Talk me through the significance of this area. So this is definitely a viewpoint over pretty much all of Jerusalem that you can see. From this position, communication is vital to share information about suspicious activity around the holy sites with the boots on the ground. We have our combat female and male soldiers, police officers pretty much scattered all around um, Jerusalem protecting this city. From up on high, Shoshana shares with me her experiences patrolling an Arab village called Ras Alamud, inside of which is a Jewish neighborhood. A lot of times you have riders who come and they throw, whether it's Molotov cocktails or rocks or whatever it is, you have a lot of people, they try to throw things into the Jewish neighborhood to danger their lives or their homes. Shoshana opening up about the real challenges of being a female border guard. If I have to do an arrest, it's not always easy, you know. Um, a lot of times the person's bigger than me or even stronger than me and they're trying to get away. Um, so yeah, that's definitely happened. <laughs> Making our way back to base, Shoshana opens up further. I obviously do believe that maybe like men are built stronger and like that's fine and like that's just like another way that women, like we have to push ourselves. You have to be a particular kind of brave though to be really on the front lines. You're the first responders to terrorist attacks. How do you mentally prepare for something like that? I don't know if you can ever be fully prepared for something. That's the yeah. thing. Like, you, you get put in the situation and you just have to act however, however you think that it's appropriate to act. Yeah. In a city that houses some of the world's holiest sites, security has many faces. While they're not here right now, you can also find female border police guards protecting the entrance to the holy Al-Aqsa Mosque. But as you can see right now, they also have another specific job, which is ensuring that non-Muslims don't enter the holy site outside of specifically allotted times. And even in the alleyways that appear to be empty, Magav is aided by technology, and backup is never far away. Tracy Alexander, ILTV, Jerusalem.